hello friends welcome to the channel create your wealth before we start our video today i would request you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done and if you have if you feel that there is some story which we should know please write it down in the comment section please click on the like button click on the bell icon to stay connected Arjun's focus investing lesson for a great warrior Arjun is one of the heroes in Mahabharata you might recall from the abhimanyu's story that he was the father to abhimanyu he was a great warrior and the best archer on the planet young prince like arjun were sent off to be educated and groomed by learned guru deep deep into the woods they went out as young kids and returned well rounded capable leaders the typical guru was a seasoned philosopher a learned scholar and an accomplished warrior all rolled into one arjun's guru was simply the best of the best the legendary dronacharya dronacharya was an accomplished warrior himself he had trained his royal students well in the art of archery one day he decided to test his uh, their archery skills setting up a small wooden painted bird on the top of the tree it had he had placed a bird over there and asked the people to ask his pupil to come there for the test he told his students that he wanted them to have a look at the bird's eye and shoot at the eye of the bird on the branch of the tree the first student rose and positioned himself dronacharya asked him what did he see he said the student said that he saw the tree the branches the clouds and everything else and the bird dronacharya told him that he was not ready and asked him to sit down he then asked the next student to come forward once again the student positioned himself and dronacharya asked him what did he see the student responded that he saw the the branch on which the bird is sitting the bird and the fruit behind the bird dronacharya told him he was not ready and asked him to sit down he asked the princess to come forward one by one asking them what they saw and asking them to sit down finally he asked arjun to come forward arjun got positioned dronacharya asked him what did he what did arjun see arjun responded that he only saw the eye of the bird dronacharya asked him to fire the arrow Arjun did it as instructed and the arrow hit right in the eyes of the bird and the wooden bird fell down After congratulating Arjun Dronacharya told the other students that they had failed the pretest and hence they were not ready to attempt hitting the target Archery is all about being singularly focused on the target If the archer can't fixate on just the target success is likely to be elusive that was the dronacharya's lesson on the day on that day for his students well that's an interesting tale but what does it, what is that message from the mahabharata have to do with the dhando framework and the dhando investor let us examine the investing landscape for a minute There are well over 100,000 publicly traded companies over dozens of exchange around the world. In addition, at any given point, there are hundreds and thousands of privately held business around the globe that are also available to be bought or sold. Add to this tens and thousands of fixed income securities, currencies, commodities, real estates, puts calls options mutual funds hedge funds treasury and the list is endless the range and the sheer number of investment targets available are in for any investor is daunting 
the dhando investor only invest in simple well understood business that requires a loan likely eliminates 99% of possible investment alternatives now like arjun we must be down to not only reading up a simple well understood business we must remain squarely within our circle of competency not even be aware of all the noise outside the circle within the circle read pertinent books publications companies reports industry periodicals and so on every once in a while some thing about the business it will jump out of you if there appears to be some meat on the bone you sense that the business might be underpriced compared to its intrinsic value it is a time to hone it at that time you need to become ultra focused like arjun all you should see is that one business shut everything else out nothing else exists on the planet drill down and see if it is truly an exceptional investment opportunity ask yourself if it is fit in as a dhando buy most times it won't be a cheap as you like sometimes will bother you and you will take a pass in that case go back to the scanning radar and within the narrow circle again when something jumps out focus integrally on it until you have rejected it as an investment or passed it out of the dhando filters and you to make the investments do not make a fatal mistake of looking at five businesses at once learn all you have to know about the business that you are going to jump in whatever reason and fixating solely on it once you are at the finishing line of a, your analysis only then look at the broader circle of competency to conclude i did like to share few final thoughts the best way to learn is to teach writing this book has served as a tremendous learning experience for me i likely wouldn't have written this if the people in john willy and sons wouldn't have encouraged me i am grateful for the opportunity and the experience the entire book focuses purely on the ways to maximize your wealth my dear father passed away in 1997 he always said that we came in this world naked and we leave the world naked no one has succeeded in even taking a pen with them he said that we need to fill the blanks between the birth and the death to that i like to add that life is focused purely on maximizing of wealth or creating comfort for self and family is the sub optimal approach to living abraham george hails from kerala in india and i am proud to call him as my friend he came to united states few decades ago and did very well as an entrepreneur ending up with several million dollars when he sold his business a few years ago he did choose to plow most of it back to the george foundation www.tgfworld.org and they have done some remarkable projects in india helping the very poorest of the poor recently in the impoverished persons who had been helped by this foundation asked him why do you help me george brushed up the question with a non answering saying i like you and that's why the man persistently asked him why did you help all of us george would see the man and wanted the real answer he gave him a very real answer helping you makes me happy i suspect that happiness george derives from his endeavors are vastly more satisfying than having a fleet of gulf streams or so many homes around the planet i hope you would seek the same happiness that abraham john and the countless others have found khalil gibran has an amazing perspective on life when he shares in his book the prophet there was there are no wasted words or pages in this beautiful book it is indeed very hard to give up the gibran's high standards by simply being aware of them likely to make us with better humans 
I do urge you to leverage the Dhando frameworks and the techniques fully to maximize your wealth. But I also hope that well before your body begins to fade away, you will use some time and some of those Dhando money to leave the world a little better place than you had found it. We cannot change the world, but we can improve this world for one person, 10 people or 100 people or maybe even few thousand people. Thank you for your support.